Well, Tampa Bay lost one of its most beloved radio pro superstars recently, and today hundreds gathered to celebrate his life. Jen Holloway is live in St. Petersburg at WKYQ with a look at how the city is remembering Dave McKay. And Jen, I understand you got an interview with Dave's mom tonight. I certainly did. And no one can describe her son like Mariana Emke as she did tonight. He was a very demanding child for attention from the very moment he was born. A perfect start for a man who would eventually live his life in the spotlight. His mother, Mariana Emke, says even at the age of nine, McKay was always the center of attention, even in middle school. He's dancing on the radiators, throwing himself on the floor, pretending he's a baby and crying. It was that personality that made mornings extra special on WQYK for so many years. And that's why so many people showed up tonight to remember him. Dave McKay, a man who gave his all to the radio industry, but gave even more to those in need. And no one would know that better than longtime co-host Randy Price. If somebody needed something, whether it was a charity, whether it was a, a kid, he was in. All you had to do was ask. Fellow broadcaster Mason Dixon shared his memories of Dave's devotion to the military. But he would come down, and when that Star Spangled Banner would start, he would stand right outside of our studio door and put his hand over his heart. Even the woman who knew McKay best was humbled by her son's devotion to the community. And around Christmas, he was just overwhelmed with all the needs and the toy drives, and so he thought he has to do something because he could. McKay's longtime friend and program director, Randy, Mike Collada, emceed the event tonight and uh, certainly made a bin big impact on the event in St. Petersburg. Jen Holloway, News Channel 8.